Since the mainstream auto manufacturers introduced the first modern SUV to the market, the world went crazy for this style of vehicle. Enough said so as the SUV almost completely replaced minivans and estate cars. Offer a higher seating position, better ground clearance, ample interior space, and being large and sturdy vehicles, modern SUVs park themselves in the driveways of many US families. But what about the sturdy part? One of the main parts of modern vehicles is their transmission. As manual transmissions can nowadays only be remembered from the Fast and the Furious movies, most modern SUVs use highly efficient but complex automatic transmission. And as mentioned before, not all of them are made equal. So in today's video, we'll give you a list of 10 used SUVs you should avoid for their bad transmissions. The Murano has been around since 2002 and went through three generations. Throughout the years, this vehicle has been quite a popular choice in the mid-size SUV segment, offering interesting styling, good handling, and a powerful and nice-sounding engine. Sadly, the one thing that could not live up to the Murano's overall performance was the transmission, as the vehicle is well known for having drivetrain problems. The main reason is Nissan's use of a continuously variable transmission, or CVT for short. It's an interesting design, incorporating two pulleys that can change their diameter, connected by a belt. In theory, such a transmission has an infinite amount of gears as the two pulleys continuously change their diameter. Ergo, continuously variable transmission. The bad thing happens when the transmission decides not to continuously work anymore. That's when things start to get expensive. If you need a good and reliable mid-size SUV that could serve you for years to come, you should consider the Toyota Highlander instead. The Murano's little brother is also plagued by the same problem as its bigger sibling, due to sharing the same family genes, in this case the infamous CVT transmission. The reliability of this type of gearbox has left a big dent in Nissan's reliability scores throughout the years. It's sad because in theory a CVT transmission has more interesting features. The ability to choose from almost an infinite amount of gear ratios lets the engine always operate in an optimal rev range, resulting in a very good fuel efficiency, very smooth acceleration and driving, and much less engine noise in the cabin. However, in reality, everything is not so simple. CVTs being not the most perfect solution for a powerful or heavy vehicle have found their way into Nissan's production line and ended up in SUVs, which are usually not the lightest of cars. And to haul all that bulk around, you need a pretty powerful engine, so that CVT is constantly overstressed which results in poor reliability. The usual symptoms that things will probably get expensive for the Rogue, as well as the Murano, are sudden forward surges, shutters at low RPM, leaks from the transfer case, and poor gear engagement. At around 160,000 miles, the CVT transmission usually fails, but it's not unheard of happening way before that. That's why you should stay away from this SUV. If you want a good and reliable alternative, check out the similarly sized and priced Toyota RAV4. Sadly, we continue this list with another Nissan product, the Pathfinder. And yet again, the issues are related to the failure-prone CVT transmission. So much so, in 2013, Nissan had a class action lawsuit filed against them. The problems were so severe that in extreme cases would cause accidents. The claim was that the manufacturer knew about these problems yet did not address them. The earlier 2005 to 2010 models weren't much better either, as a transmission in these cases wouldn't last 90,000 miles. Despite being marketed as an off-road capable 4x4, all things considered, you should stay away from this model, and choose a Toyota 4Runner if off-road capabilities are at the top of your priority list. The GMC Acadia was first introduced for the 2007 model year, and marketed as a full-sized SUV. Buyers would find the Acadia appealing due to its stylish exterior design, upscale interior, and powerful but decently fuel-efficient V6 engine. That being said, the Acadia is one of those vehicles you should steer away from if you don't want to spend time in the repair shop. The main reason being an unreliable transmission. Problems were severe and plentiful, among which were harsh shifting, overheating of the transmission, no reverse gear, transmission slipping, poor acceleration and performance, failure of sensors, detached gear selector lever linkages, torque converter failure, and others. Several recalls and service bulletins were issued. Despite that, problems still remain. Therefore, we cannot recommend this SUV. Instead, if you need an upscale vehicle with a good ride and off-roading is not your main priority, look for a Lexus RX. Despite being smaller, it offers much better reliability and the resale value is a lot higher. The Honda CRV is a very popular SUV in the US market. It offers good fuel mileage, decent ride quality, and enough interior and cargo space to accommodate the needs of most medium-sized families. Also, Hondas are renowned for their reliable engines. Yet not everything is as good as it is on paper. 
All generations of the CRV are plagued with transmission issues. The last two generations of this model from 2011 use a CVT transmission, which has caused a lot of problems for another Japanese manufacturer. The main problems are leaks from the transmission, rough shifting, slipping, excessive vibrations, and in extreme cases, transmission failure. And don't think that you can overhaul the CVT cheaply. Usually the whole transmission needs to be replaced, which can be a significant part of the whole vehicle's cost. So for this reason, we would recommend looking for a used Toyota RAV4 instead. You would think that the Nissan's luxurious brand Infiniti would have the problems of its less expensive siblings sorted out, and bring a well-designed and engineered product to the market. However, this is not the case with the QX60. Many customers complain about severe transmission problems which can be identified by loud and unusual noises, burning smells, shifting delays, jumping, and grinding. And despite being a very stylish and nicely handling SUV, due to severe drivetrain issues, we would recommend staying away from this vehicle. If you need a luxurious family-friendly SUV that hasn't got the QX60's issues, try the Lexus RX or a BMW X5 because these vehicles would suit your needs the same, but be more reliable. One of the newer contenders on this list first introduced to the US market only in 2020, the VW Taos had a fair share of transmission-related problems over just a few years it's been on the market. It's still a possibility that VW will address those problems and resolve them in later model years. But before that happens, be aware that if your Taos has a noticeable delay when shifting gears, transmission leaks fluid, there's an unusual smell of burning, or if you can hear strange grinding or clunking noises, it may be a warning sign that the transmission could possibly fail, which for a vehicle this new is unacceptable in our opinion. If you want to avoid all these problems altogether and want a stylish and sporty subcompact SUV, you could be better off with a BMW X3 instead. A very popular SUV in the US market, the Kia Sorento has gained its popularity due to being very competitively priced and offering the same features as more expensive counterparts from other manufacturers. However, being one of the newer SUVs on this list, the Sorento has its fair share of transmission problems. Although not as severe as some of the other entries, the owners report problems that can include gear shifting issues or even complete and unexpected failure of the transmission, which is unacceptable for a vehicle this new. Therefore, we think there are better options on the market you can choose from. Jeep Cherokee, a legendary name in the automotive industry. For decades, the Cherokees have been renowned for their off-road toughness. That was some time ago though, as the latest models share few things with their legendary predecessors except for the name. Most transmission problems occur in the 2014 and 2015 model years. Those include rough shifting and not shifting properly at all, transmission failure with no warning, power loss while driving, and transmission shifting into neutral. These problems are usually very expensive to fix and pose a safety hazard. Therefore, it's best to avoid this particular Jeep model and opt for a much more reliable and equally off-road capable Toyota 4Runner instead. The last SUV on this list you should avoid due to a weak transmission is the Chevrolet Traverse. And it's no wonder as it was built on the same platform and using similar components as another vehicle on this list, the GMC Acadia. Due to factory design flaws, the transmissions don't last long. And problems can be expected around the 130,000 mile mark but it's not unheard of for the transmission to fail even earlier. The list of possible signs that your drivetrain is on its last legs is very long. Lack of response, leaking fluid, burning smell, grinding or shaking, whining, clunking or humming, refuses to get into gear, torque converter issues, valve body issues, transmission noisy and neutral, gear slipping, no third or fourth gear, no first or second gear, no reverse, trouble codes, and the checked engine light. Keeping this in mind, there are plenty more reliable vehicles to choose from. Several of those were mentioned in this list. In conclusion, respected industry experts are saying that most transmission issues are usually connected with manufacturing or design defects, lack of maintenance, and the fact that modern SUVs are very heavy and powerful vehicles. This means that the transmission usually experiences more stress than a usual smaller car. In this list, we compiled a list of SUVs that are most known for having drivetrain problems, and we would recommend avoiding them. If you have a similar experience with your vehicle, or would like to add some other models to this list, please leave a comment. Also, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to this channel. And as always, drive safely.